Saka DN pa rin. So, good morning everyone. And uh, in this presentation, we will be tackling about finishes. And in this case, we will be using our previous projects such as the wooden soles or benches. And it, this, this involves painting the wooden soles benches we made before in the previous journal. Moreover, as we tackle finishes, we should we will also show basically the results of what we have done on the source. Uh, to start off, the finishes we have tackled are not only involved paint, but also the application of tiles, cladings, and vinyl floor tiles. Uh, however, as mentioned before in this procedure, we have used the method of painting as the process of our finishes due to its practicality and with wooden materials. Primarily, it is a liquid type of uh, material that is applied on specific structures, moreover, more on wood, which then hardens and coats the object or structure. This then protects and adds colors, which provides the needs and wants, and provides texture, which may convert into a smoother material depending on the coating, as some paint may require more than one coating to fully bring out its potential. Uh, this paint can have different compositions from different scenarios, such as quick dry enamel, uh, enamel for wood and metal surfaces. We, that has high gloss latex, which is considered thinner than water and is excellent at hiding use. Uh, are used mainly in materials such as stucco, bricks, drywalls, and primed wood. And lastly, elastro. Elastrometric uh, paint that forms the durable film, preventing the passage of water and vapor, are used in bridges and hairline cracks on walls that gives off a eggshell appearance. Paint is not only a liquid material used, rather there's also a thing called coatings, which is also used in wood, such as wood stain that mimics the color of a different wood. Varnish, which is a resin type of material that dissolves in liquid and provides a shining effect that hardens and clears when dried. And polyurethane, which is available in water and oil form, which can provide a satin or glossy effect used for mostly furnitures or doors that are wooden. Uh, moving on to our project, what we have done here is applied paint. Uh, to our previous made wooden bench with colors such as mint green and chocolate brown. Due to its thickness of the paint, we have only provided only one coating uh, on it. And once the uh, paint dried, the bench more, uh, looked much more smoother and did not keep uh, the wooden texture it once had and provided more shine. Once we painted it fully, we used the green to paint smaller details that would make it stand out more and provide a decoration. With all that being said, the use of paint provides significance for the texture and appearance for the bench and may vary in its quality. Uh, we may have we have questions before regarding the quality of the paint and how it may change the appearance and what texture it may provide. And due to its uh, Due to its quantity quality, uh, what we what we got was, as mentioned before, just one coating, which then provided already a good enough appearance, texture, and smoothness for the bench. This 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 answers that uh, it may change the appearance and application of coatings depending on the brand and type of paint. Once again, thank you and God bless.